So what we're going to do is pretend that it was Gauss's law which was determined through experiment first and then derive Coulomb's law from it by obtaining the expression for the electric field E due to a point charge. Right, so consider the electric field of a single positive point charge Q as shown here. This is the point charge here. We've drawn an imaginary surface, Gaussian surface, around the outside. By symmetry, the field is everywhere radial. There is no reason why it should deviate to one side of a radial direction rather to, than to another. Also, its magnitude is the same at all points on the same, at the same distance r from the charge. Any point at this distance is like any other. So if we select some Gaussian surface as shown with radius r, so this is our Gaussian with radius r, e perpendicular equals e perpendicular equals constant at all points on the surface. So uh, we can write the flux is this and we can then obviously it's going to be the same on all points on the surface so we can bring the perpendicular component to the outside here and then all we're doing is we're integrating over the surface dA which is just the area of the surface okay so we know that the area of the surface is 4 pi r squared therefore from Gauss's law uh, we know we've already right that we're going to use Gauss's law now so we know that the the electric field times the area is Q over epsilon naught okay so if we uh, rearrange this equation we'll end up with the uh, field E equals Q over 4 pi r squared epsilon naught so force on a point charge Q at distance r from charge Q is then force times Q Right, so now we can work out uh, Coulomb's law because we know that the force on a point charge Q at a distance R from charge Q is the force. Remember, uh, E equals force over charge, so force equals the charge times the field. So if we write this down as a force now, we just got to multiply it through by Q. And there we have Coulomb's law. So from Gauss's law, we've, we've gone backwards now and just uh, derived Coulomb's law. So that's it. So now we'll go on to the to the next lecture.